hey what's up coders welcome back to my channel today I'll be showing you how to use a clip or rect widgets in your flutter application if you look at the demo application here um, I have a collection of social icons so usually whenever we think of social icons it's the typical circular icon so it's time to change the trend of no more circle icons you can do different shapes so if you look at the LinkedIn icon I've given an oval shape this is a square with rounded corner, the Pinterest. The Twitter is a simple square. This is uh, the Tumblr. Uh, I mean, the snapshot is with a triangle facing downwards. If you look at the Instagram, it's a little more oval, uh, expanded version. And if you look at the um, WhatsApp, it's a square with the curved edges throughout the corners. And if you look at the Facebook, it has got a teardrop kind of a structure and the Tumblr with the other side teardrop so it definitely it is possible to change the icon shape from circle or rectangular to all these shapes using clip or rect clip oval clip path and clip rect so let's get started and i'll show you a few sample icons how to do it so i'll clear the template and we can start it so I've cleared the template and um, I'm going to create this Instagram icon and then I'll uh, do the other icons and show you the variations as to how you could achieve this design. So it's basically a tile using a material widget and then I'm going to add the clip rect here. So you can see that I have a, it's basically a staggered grid view uh, with four axis count. So if you haven't watched my uh, star dashboard tutorial where I've explained about staggered grid view, I'll leave a link in the description. You can definitely watch it. So I have four columns here. So that's the reason I've given it as cross axis count four and the spacing and the main axis spacing. So now we will start creating our clip, our rect. So I'm going to give a child saying clip, our rect. So there you go. So inside this, there is another parameter that we want to mention. That's the border radius. So border radius, it depends on the design that you're looking for. Here, I want the radius to be trimmed on all the four corners of the icon. Then you got to say all the sides. So I'm going to say border radius dot only. I'm going to trim only a few corners of the icon so i'm going to use parameters like top left and i'm going to say radius circular and i'm going to give say 25 so similar way i'm going to trim all the corners of the icon so it would be top right then similarly bottom left and bottom right so i've got my trimming of all the corners so use a clip rec r rect and then use a border radius now inside this goes your icon so now you've got the outer shape of your icon now you need to assign a icon inside it so that would be my child element and I'm going to assign and um, give an alignment first. So the alignment is alignment. I'm going to give a bottom right. You can also vary that whether you want it in the bottom right, bottom left. So it purely depends on your design. So I'm going to say alignment bottom right. And there is this important uh, factors of this alignment, which is the height factor one and width factor one. I'll explain you in the next icon that I'm creating how useful this icon is. So at the moment, I'm just going to give one and then my child is just an icon. So I'm just going to copy of I'm using a font awesome icons. So I'm just going to use uh, the icon here. So it's just a font awesome icon there you go so i've added the container which is an instagram icon so what i've done here is i've used a clip rectangular that is clip r rectangular with a border radius 
and I've given few alignment factors and I've added my container inside it and now I'm going to do a hard restart and um, if you look at it there you go it has built successfully and you can see that it's not a typical circle or oval it's got a square but the corners are trimmed because we've given a top left all the part uh, all the corners to be trimmed to a radius of 25 and then inside this my icon is situated now i'm going to create another icon which has a slight variation in the height factor and the width factor and you can see how it entirely changes the icon shape so let me add that icon okay now i've added another tile it's the same clip or rect with the top left right all the borders circular and the only difference i've done is i've given a height factor of one and the width factor of three and i have given the alignment to bottom left and the the container the child container is a different um, font awesome which is an atom so if i build this i mean do a hot restart you can see the difference here uh, i think i need another um, grid here i think i'm missing a staggered grid tile let me quickly add that and build that So you should be able to see another tile with the atom icon. So I have built the application and now you can see that the atom um, where you can see the one corner is clipped off and the other side is kind of a curvature. Now I'm going to show you the difference that you can make in these clip or rect to achieve those designs. Now, if you go to the Instagram um, thing, um, tile, and if you see the width factor, it's one. Now, if you look at this, this part, this side is completely a curvature. Now, if I change the width factor to two, and if I do a um, hot restart, you can see the change in the icon shape. There you go. Do you see that? It's getting clipped off, and the other side has got this curvature. So this way you can play around with the width factor, height factor, the even the border radius and you have a couple of other features like clip oval. So if you remove this clip or rect and place an oval, you get the oval image and um, also you can use clip path. So regarding the clip path, I've explained it in my Bezier um, curve video, how you can use path to and quadratic Bezier curve to achieve those curves in your banner image so similar way you can implement the same in your um, uh, icons also and also another point to mention is that do not constrain yourself uh, of using the clip or rect only for the icons or um, buttons try using it for images and it especially works even for a button say for example this triangle button if i want to point out something in the bottom of the screen to the users i can use this as my button and um, yeah so don't stick to the regular uh, circle icons try these icons and if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe and uh, please do try this and let me know uh, what you feel about this clip or rect because i had a lot of fun working on this and if you find this video informative please do share it thank you